All right, here's a stroker I picked up from a guy, Joe. He used to play for Dogs of War. Played with it last weekend. Plays pretty good. It's got the uh, view loader hopper with the little window. This was all, this pretty much all stock as I got it. You know, the shoulder stock. It's got a Palmer side tap remote stabilizer. Underneath here you can see where it had used to have been tapped for 12 gram quick change. It's originally built off of a uh, 22 caliber pellet gun. It was strokerized in uh, 92. It's P249. Originally came with, uh, had this red dot type of old school sight on it. Not quite a red dot, but a sight. Had a little battery. The plastic down here is broken, but. This was originally kind of loosely broken, but on here, um, can air it up. Still fires fine. So you got a little air activation on the hopper. Oh yeah, the other thing is that uh, the quick strip. It was a left-handed player. He was a left-handed player, so and it's also not quite as far back. So you pull the pin, and you have to pull the, you know the line the pin up, rotate it up, which actually the pin then hits that and then it, and then it slides back out. Uh, so it's kind of a, a left left quick strip uh, marker. And then additionally what it, what the guy had with it was the um, his original pod pack that Lori made. Lori would, used to make these and sell them as items. This is like a seat belt type material. You can see like it's all kind of stitched. Um, came with original uh, hunter ball tubes. And he actually had some of these uh, old, used to get these when you would hang the flag at carpet ball, at uh, what's now paintball jungle, but carpet bobs in, in uh, American Canyon, all it says Vallejo. Uh, so it had that. And uh, this is the original tank, you know, just a standard 20 ounce tank. Anyways, there it is. I played with it last weekend. Shot good, aside from the rollouts. <laughs> uh, anyways, there it is. Dogs of War Stroker T249.